Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Majora's Mask. This time in live commentary once again. Man, co-commentary was actually a bit more fun than I expected. A bit more work, but a lot of fun. Anyways, in this video, we're gonna return to the dawn of the first day, and you may notice that I'm actually completely out of magic. That's because I went outside and decided to shoot a bunch of bubbles with light arrows in order to get more money. I now have 25... 2,599 rupees in the bank. So we're already halfway there to getting yet another piece of heart, and take a look at that fairy sword. Mwah! Anyways, enough about um, me specking my lip, we're actually gonna take on one of the more famous side quests in this game. First of all, to do this side quest, we're gonna have to play the Inverted Song of Time. Down a right, down a right. Now what we must do is that we're gonna go over to East Clock Town. And we're gonna go ahead and reach the mayor's residence. The problem with the mayor's residence is that it's gonna take until 10 a.m. for it to actually open. That's okay, because in the meantime, you know what that means. More rupees! While I'm waiting for the mayor's office to open up, I already got the rupees from atop the um, minigames place and also near the observatory's place. I must list off the things that you need in order to complete this side quest. First of all, you're gonna need the Romani's mask. You're also going to need the Garo's mask. And, f and along with the Gara Mask, of course, you're also going to need the Hook Shot. And actually, that's just about it. At this point, you're going to need those items anyways in order to um, get to Twin Mode. And I also, I don't think I mentioned it before, but I love how these images grow. With Odalwa being green... Goad being red, Georg being blue, and Twin Mold being yellow. I always thought that was cool. I know I'm still waiting until 10 o'clock. I gone right ahead and disable the um, inverted song of time, but I will have to do that once again when it hits 10 o'clock. Okay, it's almost 10 o'clock, and it seems like Ingo is going for a bit of a walk. Where might Ingo be going, hmm? Did I really call him Ingo? Ingo is from Ocarina of Time, a completely unrelated character. Anyways, it seems like Ingo is going to enter in the place right on time. We'll follow in after him. Whoa, 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 did Ingo just slide? Yes, they did. <laughs> I am of the Gorgon Troop. I have an appointment to meet with Madame today. Oh, really? Then it should be fine if you just go in. Ah, an appointment, huh? Anyways. Gonna go ahead and slow down time because I also has a meeting with Madame. Even though that I didn't set up a reservation. I'll go ahead and walk right into Madame Aroma's place and we see that Toto is already here. Let's go ahead and... Well, can I speak to him? Yes, I can. Are the fins damp lately? That's the green used amongst Zoras. That makes me think. Um, let me put on the Zora mask. Let's see what will he react if Mikhail talked to him. Are the fins damp lately? What, Mikhail? Am I wrong? 
You look so much like him. I'm oh, sorry. So sorry. Are you here buying fish with the ocean the way it is? And we can do it. Put up with the town smelling fish, you know. When you get back to Zoro Hall, give everyone my regards. You sure do look like him, though. Well, let's go in and quickly talk to Madame Aroma. Oh dear, are you on a field trip? Or are you the expert person finder I hired? Yes, yes, yes. I say, you have the face of a pro. The characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't? Really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat, and I've lost five pounds. Trust me, lady, you need it. You haven't anything, though? Oh, dear. Well, could you look for him? Of course. My, my, of course. You're an expert. Well, I'm cunning on you. That mask is so lifeless. With those empty eyes and... Ugh. He began in Cafe's mask and recruited you to locate a missing person. We're this to inquire about the missing cafe. The mayor's wife was added to our notebook. You took the work of a pro. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and wait till 11 o'clock. This one is completely optional, but I like to show it regardless. Oh, well, you know, somebody's walked in. And you seem to be taking your time now that you pushed me out of the way at super speed. And his animation looks so clumsy. You have to say. He's busy even when he's in the place that he's busy with. Well, it seems that um, Gorman and um, Aroma and Toto are all here at the same time. Let's speak to him. See what this conversation is about. Madam Aroma, I am Gorman. It's been some time. Thank you for letting us perform at this year's Carnival of Time. Oh dear me, Gorman. There's a problem. Meaning... The opening performance I've asked you to do? Ah, yes. Dave's cancelled. Just now. Uh oh what's this? Allow me to explain. Oh, excuse me. I am to work at this year's show. Or, that was a plan. I am Toto, manager of the Zora Band, the Indigo Goes. He arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual accident in Great Bay. And due to this unusual accident, Lulu, the diva of the, in the Indigo Goes, has lost her voice. Why? Why? The two are quite long, so I'll spare you. At any rate, I must cancel our performance at this year's Carnival of Time. See? Then, this means the Gorman Troops' j job is. <laughs> it's off. But, but, but that's. That's all, Gorman. There's always next year. I'm busy with other matters. Poor Gorman. Now, in the next room, this is Madame Zoroma's um, bedroom. Along with her husband, but you can actually sneak right by the curtain here. And there seems to be another bedroom. And a diary. Cafe's diary. Hmm. Did Cafe run off on the wedding? The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Anju made her. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There is a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan not to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. Oh, I see. So I'm quite excited. I wonder why he would run away or disappear or whatever is going on. Anyways, next thing to do is quickly go to the Stockpot Inn before 12 o'clock. This one is also optional, but we have to do required things at the stop park in anyways. Regardless, there is a scene in here that actually somewhat pr funny. You see that cafe 
well, not cafe. Anju is not at the counter. Huh. Well, we'll go in here and we see that there cheese in the kitchen. What do you have to say, Anju? We used to be a cafeteria, but after my father died, the room rentals that were part of our service became our main focus. We're just a small inn with only two rooms, but people from all over come here at the at this time of year. See the performers print Dixing outside? The second floor bunk room guests are the very spirited at night with songs and dancing. Oh yeah, the Rosa sisters. We helped them out at the beginning of the game. The customer coming this afternoon will be staying next door to them. I hope it'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with the cooking? Also, you tend to have some bugs here. That's a good sign that this is not a clean kitchen. Anyways, what I actually want to show happens at 12.15, so I'll actually wait until then. Actually, never mind. I've gone ahead and sped up time, that way Anju would actually walk faster. Let's follow her. She seems to be delivering a meal to someone. And she's entering that room. I love how you can go in. Until then. Hey, it's Sir Granny. Let's speak to them. Oh, Tortoise. I've already had lunch. Grandmother, I am Anju. Tortoise was my dad. And you haven't had lunch yet. I've already had lunch. Don't be quick and take that away. Not eating is bad for you. Please eat. Didn't I say I already ate lunch, Tortoise? Impossible, child. Then don't eat my food. I give up. Yeah. Ew. And oh, would you like me to read you a story? She's faking being senile? So when she was calling everyone tortoise, she was faking it. Which means those heart pieces that she claims are candy is... And she is aware of it. Hold it in this time. I muscled it in. For the viewer's sake, I shall hold it in. That's the kitchen again. No, wait, that's the kitchen. That's the bathroom. It's good to remember that. You know, in the bathroom! Yeah. I know Riordel Yankovic as well. Anyways, this next quest is coming up at just about, actually 150, so not too long. In the meantime, You. I wasn't doing anything strange or anything. Er, um, I mean, I would like to make a reservation. Welcome to the Stock Park Inn. Uh, did you have a reservation? Oh, I'm about to make a reservation. You do have a reservation? That's good. Mr. Link, is it? One moment, please. If you say no, she'll say that she can't make any reservations because they're all booked up. Mr. Link, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. You do? The room is our knife chamber on the second floor. Here's your key. Wait, what? You, not sure why, but you apparently had a reservation. I know the intro was a skate to Alice in Wonderland, but I don't think this really is Alice in Wonderland. Please relax. 
Um. Okay, actually. I need to stop slowing down time because it's wasting time for me. I'll slow down when it's required. Like, in between, when I'm going in between locations. Hmm? Hey, it's the postman! What's going on here? Uh, 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 um, um, what is it? I have a letter! I have delivered this to you! I found Professor Oak! Ah, uh, wait. This letter, what, where did you... From the post box! Th that's not what I meant. From the post box, where? From the post box, somewhere! Oh. That's not what I meant! Huh, a letter, huh? By the way, what do you know about Cafe? You're also looking for Cafe? I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30, please come to the kitchen. We'll talk then. Very well, and hey, it's the Rosa sister. That won't work, no, that's too basic. Very well. Now there's one more scene I want to show at the Stockpot Inn. By the way, we might as well check out the room while we wait. What a round chef going is. At this room first class, you can hear whoever's next door for crying out loud. Oh, whatever, we're staying free, so we can't expect much. Heh. Well, whoever made this reservation must have paid a lot. Anyways, you can open this chest to obtain... Another silver rupee. However, we have to have a reservation in order to get in anyways. By the way, does that fill up our... No, it does not. Instead, it fills up this weird bar slot on the side. That's okay. I'm perfectly okay with that. The Rosa sister seems to be going upstairs now. Hmm? A Goron! Fellow Goron, what do you have to say? The city is so busy, it's hard to find one's way, Goro. Hmm. I'm Terry, sorry, sorry. There are no vacancies today. We're booked solid with reservations. I made a reservation. The name is Link, Goro. Mr. Link, Goro? I don't have a reservation under that name. There was one close to that, but... What? Really, Goro? Well, it's nice weather, so I'll just leave outside, Goro. Psst, my friend. I heard that tomorrow. The barometer is going to go crazy. I'm terribly sorry. Darmani is so smug, is smug as hell back there. <laughs> uh, so that's the explains why we um got a reservation. You don't want have it, Goro? I don't have it. Really, Goro? I'm terribly sorry. Poor guy. Well, she said wait until. 11.30, 12, well, 11.30 at night. Oh, he's working away. What do you have to say? It's a hard world to live in, Goro. Well, I'll just go ahead and cut until, well, tonight. The wind has gotten damp, Goro. Tomorrow is rain, Goro. Goro, Goro. What a sad sap. Okay, we're in the kitchen now. And it seems like we're it's about almost time. I hear Anju already stepping out. Let's walk her with her to the kitchen. All right. It's about time. She said at eleven thirty. Let's wait in the kitchen for her. 
By the way, Anju, you're running late. It's now 12 o'clock. It's now midnight. We'll talk in the kitchen. We are in the kitchen, woman! I am trouble. Sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him. Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person? But there's absolutely no mistaking it. It's from him. It's clear to me. Please. Here is my letter. Please put it in a post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Anju is waiting for him. I will. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. Fine, would he look different? I'm scared. I... I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Yes. Thank you very much. A lever to cafe. Deliver it for her. Take it to a mailbox. An important promise. Please mail it immediately in the morning. She said mail it in the morning, huh? We can wait till 6 o'clock. We can do it now, but... You know what? I'll do it at 6 o'clock. And yes, if you made a reservation, you um, can enter the stockpot in at any time you want. Otherwise, you're going to have to um, use a Deku flower in order to reach it. Anyways, play the song a double time. the second day. receives it. At that point, we shall be able to meet him. Until then, I think that I'm going to make this video a two-parter. So, now that we made it to the second day, we'll continue this side quest in part two of this video.